More feeding action, please. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the very first video in the new Dark Den and actually first video, first official video of new season, the season 3. And even though previous video was technically recorded here and it was technically a beginning of season 3, but I would consider that video like a transition video because it started in season 2 and also it started in the old dark den or actually it started here but a lot of footage was from the old dark den from the season 2 so this is first video fully recorded inside of the new dark den the new new dark den until recently old dark den was actually new dark den and old dark den was my apartment but now my apartment is like old old dark den uh, new Dark Den is Old Dark Den and this is the New Dark Den. A bit of complicating, yeah. But okay, Season 3, New Dark Den and also New Angle, kinda New Angle. I want to experiment a bit and see how this one will fit the videos. So let me know in the comments, let me know what you think. And also, since today is the day when I'm recording this video is Monday and last video didn't actually release by the time I'm recording this video, I don't really know what are your comments on the new Dark Den. So I cannot give you any feedback on that, but I will do that in next video where we will add more stuff to the current Dark Den. Now, what is the plan for today? Let me show you. As I already mentioned in last video, you see I, I brought carpet from the old Dark Den. As I mentioned in last video, we are going to fix the dart frog enclosure. Currently this side is leaking badly and therefore I was forced to turn off the, the waterfall that we have here. Because of that the humidity level dropped down so I turned off the ventilation fan. But then I noticed that plants started to die off, especially these on the back. I assume it was because there was no longer enough ventilation inside. I mean the air was probably starting to be more stagnated and that was a bad thing. So I, I installed the misting system inside and turn on the fan once again but now the plants are kinda sad so we are going to completely try to redo the enclosure in terms of plants and substrate but I won't be changing the actual scape and we have one dart frog here wondering what is happening so since I need to do all of that first I will need to get the frogs outside and set up some sort of temporary enclosure for them it will be some basic plastic tub because I will need to remove this front panel, I remove all the old silicone and then re-silicone it once again. So that means for the next two days, I mean 48 hours, I will need to leave this silicone to cure and the enclosure won't be habit habitable. That is why they need to be temporarily moved out. Also the enclosure is really really heavy so it will be a pain to get it on the table but I will manage and what else we need to do let me show I will need some sphagnum moss for the build so I have some dehydrated sphagnum here and I'm going to add a bunch of water it will expand creating a lot of sphagnum moss also we are going to do some sort of wines for the for the paldarium I already did that in one video but I want to try it out and make them out of these bur burlap uh, ropes I'm not sure how it will work out but we are going to test that out uh, water That will be good. And now I'm going to bring the polarium on the table. Uh, but I will set up the camera so you can see how I'm struggling with it. I will put you on the table, looking at this general direction. But man, Dark Den looks so, so much sweeter now, especially when I bring the Despacitos enclosure here. Then it will be like superb. Now wish me luck. So heavy. Okay, I think I got it. And both frogs are outside. That is really good. I won't be. I won't need to search for them. It will make my life a bit easier. Hello, froggies. I am really sorry for the disturbance, but I need to get you out of there because there will be a lot of construction here on this area, on this whole area. I'm gonna grab some tub and I'll be back. And I'm already back so fast. Wow. <laughs> I just put some of that sphagnum moss inside and it is all already wet and everything so this is like the perfect environment for them and I will just put some hiding spot but first let's grab them and put them inside. Hmm, I'm not really sure if I'm liking this new angle or not. It kind of complicates things a bit. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I'm just too used to the old, the old stuff. Hey, hey, I need you. Go in the cup. 
Thank you. This one is called Mai. And the second one is called Hecate, I believe. Yeah, there you go. This is Hecate. And I have no idea uh, what their, their sex is. I don't know if one is female or male. Breeding is not my concern, so I didn't really research that. But you can see how different patterns they are. I, oh, I never said uh, these are called Dendrobates auratus. That is the scientific name. Poison dart frog. Now check their pattern. My got a full line going from head to back, while Hecate... Oh, what a jump. His line is not connected, you see? It got like a gap here and they are super cool. Now I'm going to feed them quickly. I got some flightless fruit flies for them and they will probably go crazy when they spot them. If this move wasn't too stressful, I'm not really sure, but I think that it shouldn't be a problem. And now they feast, hopefully at least. Oh yeah, they are starting, they are not stressed. <laughs> the munchy munchy has started. Look. Miss, miss, miss. Come on, get it. No, you missed again. No, you missed again. Come on. There, finally. Get that one. No, no, it is... Oh, no, we got it. Get it. Double fly over here. Come on. Come on, what are you waiting for? Yes. Nope. <laughs> there we go. And Hecate also caught one. More feeding action, please. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Did you get it or not? I'm not sure. Three, two, one. Nope. <laughs> yes, yes. And now my also missed and the fly is gone. Oh no, but there is still a bunch of flies left. Uh, okay, I will leave them now to eat in peace and we are going to carry on with the, with the business here. I'm gonna close their enclosure and actually I will put a leaf litter first. So they have some hiding spots, you know. There, now this is much better. Closing them off and carrying on. And you see, in the meantime, the sphagnum bricks, they, they absorbed all the water. Well, not all water, but majority of the water. And it is now expanded like this. And now I can use it as I please. Excellent, excellent, excellent. But I will need to drain the excess water. Yeah, I don't want to have too much water inside. Now, where were we? Yes, a lot of work ahead. I can actually, oops, sorry. as I wanted to say, I can actually start by removing this misty nozzle because that is the only way to remove. Do I actually need to remove the top lid? Well, uh, I need. I'm not sure, but I will remove it. No harm in that. Mm. Well, this is a bit dirty. <laughs> Gonna clean that later. And now we need to get all of these outside and I'm going to try to preserve all the plants that are on the on the bottom. I'm not sure how that will go, but I will do my best. I'm gonna start with this because it is easily movable. And also this part. This is also easily movable, you see. On this piece of wood, I had a lot of moss that actually died out. Maybe it is now starting to regrow, but it died off. And in the meantime, this random plant started to grow. I have no idea what it is, but I kind of like it. As long as it is growing, I don't mind. And also here we have some sort of moss that I don't know the name of. And some random plants here and here. They also started growing on their own. <laughs> now I will carefully try to remove... Oh, it is actually going really easy not a lot of root structure here hopefully i will be able to replant that now all of this will go i'm not sure what i will do with that because you see this whole section it is in really bad shape so i want to do something different with it this is all of this is just dried up i'm just gonna get all of that out this is like a house for frogs that is also going out and now all of this substrate i need to get it out <laughs> Go. Also, I want to preserve these pieces of moss. We no longer have any substrate. All we have is a drainage layer that is made out of clay balls and some rocks. And that is the thing that is making this enclosure super heavy. <laughs> Originally, this section was like a lake, but yeah, that didn't turn out. You will see now the divider. When I remove all of these clay balls, Now you see this was the original lake, it was right there and this was the divider that divided water from the land section. But in the end I decided to bury it because there was not enough land for four dart frogs, so that is why I did that. And now we also need to remove this whole drainage layer and that will reveal the pump that is under this side. We are also going to take that outside. You see, here is the pump. And this down here, it is the sponge that is some additional filtration. And also it is dividing drainage layer from the actual pump. Now this, 
this is dirty. Standing water that was standing for like months and months. Really nasty is all I can say. We are going to flip the enclosure and remove the front panel. That'll be fun. Now it should be considerably lighter. And yeah, it is. But if I flip it, all the water will go outside from this. Uh, hmm. Just a second, I need a different approach. But I have an idea. I'm going to lift it up and lean it on this tile. That way the water will drain here and I can now remove the front panel like this. So you can actually see, right? Now I'm hoping that I will just be able to, to run the scalpel here and here and just remove it. But I don't know how easy that will be. Oh, well, this was kind of easy. Well, of course, that this side was easy because this part was actually not connected and that's why the enclosure is leaking. There we go. Whoa, that is dirty. Now I will thoroughly need to clean all the edges, remove all the old silicone and all the nasty stuff. But before that, I will take this enclosure out and drain everything in the, in the grass. Yeah, because I don't want this dirty water inside. So one time jump and I cleaned it to the best of my ability. But the edges are not perfectly clear. And I don't think that I would ever trust this enclosure to hold a large body of water. I don't think that I will, I will actually set up and use the waterfall. Because I'm pretty sure that it will, it will hold water. But I wouldn't trust it anymore with a lot of water. So... I will just put a layer of silicone around and just flick this over, you will see. Then once that is dry, I will also put a layer of silicone inside the enclosure. So there is more silicone than just this. Because I don't want to redo this. <laughs> I don't want it to leak everywhere. That's for sure. Now just... That's the thing. I already made sure that everything is aligned. Now I will do the wines quickly before the actual time jump because you know for fake wines i also use black silicone and that also needs to cure for 24 hours so that is why i also need to do that if i want to use it in this build so the basic idea is you cover the rope with black silicone and then just put it inside of the this this dry substrate so everything will stick to that silicone and you will get a nice ropey thing that looks like a wine but it is actually not a wine. Last time I did it, I did it a bit different. I didn't use the actual rope, but this time I want to see how it will look with the rope. So I'll get the glove on and start smearing. I'll put a lot of silicone on, the, on my fingers and take the rope and go like this. Just make sure to cover everything with the silicone. But I won't cover the tip because I want to be able to hold it well. And as you did that, you just put the rope inside of the bucket like this and cover it with the dirt. <laughs> so the end result looks like this. It seems all right, but we will check it out after it's cured. Now I will do the rest. Do I really want it to be this long? Maybe this is not the smartest idea, but you can never know if you don't try it, right? Uh, this rope is definitely too long. Not the smartest move, to be honest. But I managed somehow to cover it all up. And the third, oh, this is like super short. So that means I don't need a lot of silicone. There we go. In the bucket you go. Now I will also cover that one with the, with the substrate. But it needs to be super dry substrate. And I will just put it like that for next 24 hours. That should be fine. So one time jump and silicone is cured now so we can continue with this build. And also the wines are ready as you see. Uh, they don't look amazingly good, but I think that for the amount of effort you need to put in to create these, if you look at it like that, then they are amazing. These are the first one that I did and I was using the similar method, but it is a bit more complicated. But because of that, you see, they look kind of more random and more naturalish. So I would prefer it over these, but I cannot say that these are bad either. So I'm definitely going to use them now. The standard procedure, drainage layer, mesh, substrate, and then we will add the plants and also some, some old ones that I have that are in terrible condition. But yeah, we are going to use the ones that we have now. And later on, I will order some new plants, some different, different species of plant. And then we are going to add those also. I didn't even clean this glass. Let me just do that. There, I don't really need this glass to be cleaned because when it's standing on its shelf, you can see it from the sides anyway. But now for the video, it's good so you can see inside what is happening, right? Uh, drainage layer. I mean clay balls. 
Now previously because of waterfall I couldn't have a lot of substrate because drainage layer was was so high because of the water level that is needed for a pump to, to function uh, accordingly but now we no longer have pump and we don't need drainage layer to be super deep so there will be more substrate to play around with which is definitely a good thing. Uh, I need mesh. Well, crap, it looks like the mesh is still in the dark den. I still didn't bring all the stuff from there. So another time jump and voila! The mesh somehow magically appeared and it is already set up. So we just need to add the substrate. And I already prepared a mix of substrate. By the way, no, the mesh didn't actually magically set up. I did that, but it doesn't sound as cool as magical appearance of mesh. The magically self-appearing mesh, that got a nice ring to it, right? And now with all this substrate, I think the, the plants will enjoy that. Unlike the previous build that basically had almost zero substrate, the layer was really really thin but before adding plants i should consider where i want to put the actual wines right first i will take the long one and i will poke this section inside of this substrate and then just let it run randomly across the environment right now one more i will squeeze that one here and let it run down there or maybe actually want it to go across yeah, so it adds some something, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe in the future I can hang some moss or something like that, yeah. And then this small one will go here. I definitely dig that, especially imagine some moss dripping down from the from those vines. Ooh, that will be so good. Now let me bring the plants. Maybe I can just put these two there. This is just temporarily, I will move it around in a second. First I want to position this plant. Good. Now I also want to add this frog house back. I want to put it back here. Now this moss part will go once again here on this section where it originally was. And for this, I think that I will just bury that slightly in the dirt. Hopefully the plant will actually move around. I mean spread around. And now we have these guys. Just going to poke them and hopefully they will stick. I'm not sure how that will work out, but the time will tell. Now some leaf litter and we are ready to go. Now imagine if I had like a wide variety of plants at my disposal already here. The enclosures would be ooh, so much better. And also different type of wood and all of that. I need to start getting that stuff, right? And the bromeliads. On their own they kind of look bad, but this one is sprouting two new pieces and also this one is sprouting one new baby. So I think that it will be all right. <laughs> all right now even though it is still not finished i still lack a lot of plants on the top section and some other filling plants i'm really digging this look and where this is going yeah and mostly because of this random plant that sprouted on its own and i have no idea what it is but i like it let's put the frogs inside and finish this video i'm pretty sure that they are eager to get out of this box they were only inside for one day but still are you guys ready for oh yeah this one is Oh, they are definitely ready for a big move. There we go. This was really fast and easy. And your new home, guys. <laughs> okay, I will I will spray it now a bit and add some fruit flies and we can call it a day. Uh, but I need to top lid. Gotta put that first. No, 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 no. Froggy, no. No. What are you doing? This was funny. Why and where? Okay. It was stuck for a brief moment. Now we need some rain. <laughs> Oh no, they are jumping like crazy. Come on frogs, chill. No, Hecate is on a move. Go in the... No, Hecate, come on. Go in the... <laughs> come on. Hey, no. No, oh no, no, not with my... Not with my hand. My hand is bad for you. The reason why you don't want to touch frogs with your hands is because you got uh, salt on your hand, you know? And that can hurt their skin. No. Stay there. I will give you some fruit flies, so chill. But I need to spray your enclosure a bit. No, don't go out, please. Heck it. Other way. Heck it is going crazy. I'm going to close it, get fruit flies, and then we are done. I guess that they didn't really like to be trapped in a tiny enclosure. I mean, it's not tiny enclosure, but Considering this whole vivarium, 
this tub is considerably smaller. Fruit flies, fruit flies. The second feast of this video has begun. <laughs> but the Mai is all over there, not aware of the fruit flies. So Hackett got them all for himself. But whoa, look. I really like the spectrum of colors in this enclosure. It is not only green, it is not only gray, but it is everything. It looks much better than it used to. One frontal shot of Hackett and we are going to say bye-bye. Oh, miss, miss. Your aiming skills are terrible, you know that? I guess it is a stage fright. So, I hope that you enjoyed this new video, in, I mean this video in New Dark Den. I don't think that I completely like this camera angle. Write me your opinions, but I think that I'm going to do something different in next video. I will see how, how it will actually look in the video. But that is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye-bye.